Cyrus Frost. It's been a couple of weeks, and, uh, well, let's talk about the elephant in the room. My Death of a Merchant Man episode was, uh, it was pretty well received, actually. It was a little less controversial than I was expecting it. A lot of people agreed with my points. Some people obviously took issue with it, and that's fine. It's kind of an opinion piece, more so than a statement of fact, but... It is based on a lot of factual statements by CIG, and I think that everything that I laid out, the case for why the Banu Merchant Man is not going to be as good as people think it is going to be, I think that's a valid case. Uh, In the couple of weeks since I dropped that video, CIG has come out with some segments on Inside Star Citizen where they've talked about the cargo decks and those have only reinforced the things that I said in my video. So the one silver lining to the situation is that right now with Alien Week, I think for about 24 more hours or so, as of this recording, there are some really attractive war bond pricing options for the BMM. You can do a CCU chain from the currently available LTI token, the G12, um, to uh, the currently available Cutlass Blue, a war bond CCU, to the Banu Defender, to the Banu Merchant Man, you can save several dollars at each step. And I think if you're a subscriber, you can even add the Cutlass Red in there for a little bit more savings. But I think it's, like, if you were a subscriber anyway, it's it's worth doing. But if you're not a subscriber, I think you only save, like, five bucks after you factor in the cost of your subscription for the month. So arguably, it's not even worth the trouble. But <clears throat> the point is, you can get a Banu Merchant Man for under 300 bucks right now. And at that price point, it becomes a lot more attractive because the value goes up as the price comes down. Now you're kind of comparing it directly with a Caterpillar. That's a bit of a different story. I still have concerns over how the ship is going to shake out, but maybe it's a wait and see. I picked up some CCU options myself. Uh, I would advise you to have an exit strategy in case it doesn't turn out that the BMM gets the love that I'm hoping it gets. And let me be clear, <clears throat> I wasn't trying to hate on the Banu Merchant Man with that video. I love the ship. I've been in love with the ship for a long time, and I really hope that it finally arrives in a place that will make its many, many fans happy. So enough about that. But I do want to add that this trend of war bond CCUs seems to be continuing, uh, and I would say it's likely to continue with future flight-ready releases, as well as probably the anniversary sales slash Invictus going forward. So there's really there's really cause to think that if you play your cards right, you could really get some reduced cost ships. Um, obviously, as is always the case, don't spend money you can't afford to lose. This is a game that is just now past three hundred million dollars. It's funded. It doesn't need your money. And my advice to you is to buy the CCU. Don't apply it. Sit tight. Don't necessarily buy another filler CCU to connect the dots in a CCU chain, what you should be doing is looking for future opportunities. Go look up a list of Star Citizen ship prices, correlate that to the ships that are not yet flight ready. Assume that when they go flight ready, there's probably going to be a war bond to CCU option for that ship that's $20 less or so, and also assume that there are going to be future concepts that we have not yet been privy to and there are going to be spaces in a CCU chain where you're going to be able to fit future unreleased war bond CCUs and save more money. Just be patient. Think about don't complete the CCU chain now. I know it's tempting. I know you want to get in the game. You want to play with these ships. Um, You've been looking forward to it for years. Borrow friends or, well, if you're, (laughs) if you're really their friend, you should be giving them this advice that I'm giving you now. But uh, my point is think about, waiting as long as possible to complete the CCU chain. Do it at the end of Alpha or Beta, whenever it is that they take away the CCUs, not now so that you can have the ship now. This is a waiting game, and it's going to benefit people who are patient. Anyway, I'm beating a dead horse, so let me move on. I wanted to give the community a heads up that I'm planning another sort of opinion type episode in the near future. I've been thinking about it quite a lot. I've been talking about it a bit in the Discord, uh, excuse me, the Info Runners Discord, and it's going to be about how not all professions are created equally. I'm going to share my thoughts on which professions are more or less likely to be profitable in-game based on what we know so far. Uh, So stay tuned for that in the next couple of weeks. Um, But before I go today, 
I wanted to let you all know that I have some great news for myself and my family. Um, recently, my wife and I found out that we're having a baby, and just a couple of weeks ago, we found out that we're having a baby girl uh, due in October, about a week before Halloween. So, like, October 26th is her due day right now, and uh, we're very excited. And uh, <laughs> it's just, uh, if you're a parent or even if you're not, you probably as you can imagine that when that day comes, uh, my content creation time is going to be cut short for a little while, so I'm going to try to get in as many episodes as I can between now and then to hold you over. Um, I don't know, <laughs> I'm not going to make any promises about when I'm going to be back, but uh, you know, obviously when it makes sense for my family, I'm going to be coming back. So, you know, we have a few more months together for now, and then I'll be on another hiatus. Uh, maybe I'll slip in a few Info Runners episodes between now and then. We'll see. Uh, but anyway, that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, like this video. Subscribe, hit the notification bell. Use my referral code to get 5,000 UEC in-game if you haven't signed up for a Star Citizen account yet. And I'll see you in the next one. I've been Osiris Frost. Thanks for watching.